Hello and welcome to another Tableau Advanced Dashboard Case Study and in this case study I want to show you how you can create an advanced dashboard like this. So this is a case study where you need to practice but I will be showing you what I'm actually doing because this is something which I cover in my training as to how the dashboard really looks like, what are the functionalities that you need to do just so that executive have all the informations or your anyone who is doing the dashboard has all the information in one single click. Okay, so what we are doing and what is a bit advanced in this dashboard is, well, you have filters. This is not advanced, right? But the way they have been arranged is advanced, right? So you have clear filters like this. Then what you have is a cockpit, which is showing you for which period you are viewing the information. First December 2020 to 1st November 2020, or it should ideally be reversed. First November 2020 to December, right? But what based on what we have selected current month versus previous month. What if, if you are selecting current year to date versus previous year to date? That means 1st Jan 2019 to 1st Jan 2020 or current year versus previous year, same way, right? So this is where you have a lot of advanced feature in terms of the period that you are selecting, a dynamic period. With the help of this, all your metrics are changing. So current month versus previous month is basically indicating that what is your expense versus previous month? What is employees count versus previous month? What is your employee per expense versus previous month, right? So very quickly, you are able to get it. And then current year top five employees by rank, that means who are spending a lot. So clearly, when you come over here, you can see that uh, this employee Olenka is spending a lot. And then when you hover over, you can clearly see that She's printing a lot of paper. Maybe she's an executive assistant or someone who needs to print a lot of paper and that's where the huge cost is going. Then what you have is this second employee, which is Lauren Eldershaw. You can see that this is looks like maybe some sales or executive who is spending a lot on airfare. That means a lot of travel is happening. Then uh, group meals, then hotel, taxis, where the lot of spending. And then you have this guy who is also spending a lot of airfare so on and so forth so you get an idea you basically look at any period of 12 months and see what's going on right and with the help of this you get the best idea uh, for entire 12 months and finally in the last month what are your top five employees so that is what i'm showing how you can create that then this is a straightforward chart but what it indicates is is these outliers like engineering is the department where olanka is there expense type is operation so these are like the outliers so these two people are the outlier in the engineering department so once you know okay this is what it is then by department you can get a clear idea sales you know what are the outliers and who are those folks and where they are expanding a lot. Similarly over here, HR, right? Who is that person and where this, this person is traveling, uh, is basically spending a lot, so on and so forth. Also, it gives you an idea like on an average, HR is spending very less, engineering spending less, but C level is spending high. They are on the higher side of the thing. Similarly over here, sales is relatively average compared to high average compared to the other department and uh, support is also uh, near about this. So this is where, you know, you can set the standard like uh, whether they should really go and spend that much. You should really have an outlier like this, you know, all that information so that you can set some standards, some guidelines, some practices around uh, how you want to see your department to do an expense. Then here is the expense heat map. Again, uh, what we are taking is the expense type, what is expense subtype and the department, right? In one single view, you are able to see each of this department is who is spending more on meals, right? Who is spending more on miscellaneous, who is spending more on operations and finally, who is spending more on travel. These are like the main categories where you have and where you have done the highest expense you are basically looking at it or travel airfare and, and so on and so forth. So this will going to help a lot in managing the expenses and then each of the sheet you need to create like I'm creating this where you can see I'm creating a lot of calculations for identifying which date we are in just making sure that yes this makes perfect sense when somebody is selecting this is where I'm creating the 
filters current month versus previous month current year to date versus previous year to date current year versus previous year a lot of true and false calculations which is going on uh, then you have the expense type employees expense per employee in the previous period the rank chart no not probably this one but this is where i'm creating a rank chart for the employees this is a rank tool tip so if you hover over to any rank this will be the tool tip this is your uh, heat map based on the department expense type and expense subtype and i'm using a simple current total expense to indicate what is the heat map and finally what do we have is the box plot right and then we are putting it everything in a dashboard and i think a couple of other things like a period in this case the same filters if you see i'm just selecting it over here then we have logo and we have show date right which probably i think uh, it needs to reverse for sure so uh, and not only this once you do that you also need to configure the dashboard actions so that this can take effect right which is a defining criteria for your dashboard so that is something which i wanted to show you how you can go ahead and create uh, a dashboard i'm sure that you will be facing a lot of interesting challenges when you are creating this dashboard so it's an exercise which will keep you busy for next couple of days as to how you can reach this but if you are able to do it quickly that means you are really an advanced user so what i really want is you know these case studies this is something which i'm covering in my training and uh, those who are finding it difficult they attend this my training and and get the benefit out of it how to create this uh, advanced use cases with that thank you so much and i'll meet you in the next case study